I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new video. Today, a new search explains. As you can see, I have a, a lock bait deck, a chip deck uh, with rocket in it. Uh, it has lock, inferno tower. So basically, it's very defensively and you will try to like control the game, but at the same time uh, be aggressive. If they, for example, lock your princess, uh, a goblin barrel can just do tons of damage. And as you can see, I already did some games. I'm, uh, I have 9 wins now and 2 losses. So I'll try to get as far as possible. Maybe I will lose the first game. Uh, I will definitely do the chest opening as well. Some of you guys uh, really like that. So I will do that of course. Um, yeah, this is basically the deck. Feel free to copy it. And I will start the battle. So I will just start the life battles. And let's see how far we can get. I hope we can, um, we can clutch it of course. But we will see. So let's give this a go. let's let's give this guy a thumbs up and a good luck, um, and we will see. I will kind of start just um, a, a bit patient, see what he drops. So he drops an executioner in the back. This is great value, guys. Rocketing an executioner that's one elixir, and you get 493 damage. He rockets the princess as well. Well played by him. Maybe he's running the the popular deck with um, with uh, mirror goblin barrel and tornado. But we'll find out soon, of course. So let's see what he drops. He so they, uh, as you guys can see, he locked his goblin. Uh, he locked our dark goblin. So let's try to go with a goblin barrel now. Um, from yeah, from us, uh, our goblin barrel, and he drops a furnace. I definitely think he's playing the meta deck, which is executioner, tornado, mirror, rocket. Um, just like it has a bunch of spells, and it's trying to uh, take down your tower. Um, after that, they will just. Um, a mirror rocket a mirror rocket does 1034 damage for the people who don't know that it's really important to know your um, know your spells of course but at this point i'm basically just controlling the game as you can see he can't really look um, because he know i have a, um, a goblin barrel so he can and look at the dark goblin so much value out of that card it will even kill the, the, the fire spirits and it will still get two hits there you go um, like the Darth Goblin can can uh, <laughs> can be really clutch if you um, if you can bait out the lock and as you can see he's he's saving his lock for the Goblin Barrel because he knows that's our our main damage dealer but in the same time he can't really um, like our our uh, range units like the the Darth Goblin the princess he can't really deal with that just because a oh, well played by him a uh, nice tornado. But um, he can't really deal with that because he, he is forced to save his lock for our goblin barrel. That's also why like uh, lock bait you. Sometimes you just try to bait out a lock. And well played by him. He's mirroring his goblin barrel. I actually dropped my dark goblin there just to uh, tank one hit. And he actually... Wow, he just... I think he has mirror lock now. Oh, he actually decided uh, not to... Oh, no. He just mirrored his goblin barrel. Sorry, guys. But um, we're dealing more damage. So, so far, we're definitely looking good. And... Wow, I actually kind of need to drop my knight. Yeah, I dropped my knight in time to tank for the, the executioner. And he comes with a, a goblin barrel, mirror goblin barrel. Let's lock that. And we have a skarmy there. And our goblin barrel, he ignored our goblin barrel. Let's drop a, a princess up high. I hope it shoots on the tower. Yes, it locks on the tower. And this game looks like... It looks like a good game. Just... Um, I'll cycle back to another... Um, another lock. Because I don't want him to mirror his goblin barrel. But I definitely think this is game, guys. Let's even drop an, um, a defensive goblin barrel over there. I think that's... I might... No, I, I would just lock the executor, but only uh, two seconds left. So that's definitely game. Let's give him a good game. Uh, well played. Well played by him. Definitely well played. But as you guys can see, our uh, princess and dark goblin just got so much value. Because he either has to lock our... Um, yeah, like, we, we actually have four baits. Like the Skarmy, if he goes in with a miner and he tries to predict our Skarmy... Uh, he, he, he has to lock that. He has to lock the princess definitely because um, it won't reach the tower. The dark goblin will deal good amount of chip damage. And the goblin barrel is just insane how much damage that does. So most of the times you will see people um, yeah, keep their lock for the goblin barrel. But as you can see 10 wins, 2 losses. I really hope we can get uh, 12 wins guys. That would be really nice. But let's search for another opponent. So let's give this guy a thumbs up and a good luck. And we will see what he is running. So he starts off with a miner. We predict, yes, we predicted this miner. Nice. He got, and he has a zap. Interesting. A goblin barrel doesn't die to zap anymore. So we might want to pull off um, a, a knight goblin barrel combination. 
because the knight can tank for them of course but let's go risky let's see what he has we dropped the dark goblin first so the tower would shoot on i think it shoots three times on the dark goblin and it will sort of tank for it i mean it will die anyways i'm not sure if i if i uh it's better to let the the goblin barrel tank but he goes in with a hawk rider let's drop an uh, inferno on the hawk rider as you guys can see and i drop my knight on his ice wish just to tank and kill and the knight will even get more value it will i think it will not hit maybe it will hit wow it even hits on the furnace that's really that i think i mean it's not game changing but it's definitely important he goes in with a miner but our inferno tower is still there he uh, he also zaps again so soon i will actually drop my my princess to kill that wave of uh, fire spirits and then i will go with i think i will just go with a, a single goblin barrel now he goes with a furnace and he actually knows that we have a dark goblin Oh wow, I thought that the princess would kill it, but the Darth Goblin doesn't die. And he still put it in range. There you go, Darth Goblin getting value. And I think, wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that, guys. That was crazy. The Darth Goblin and the princess actually killed the Ice Wizard. Uh, I will drop a knight to tank for the miner. Because I will soon hit 10 elixir. I don't want to leak anything. And at this point, I can't really drop anything. But I will just split the scar me. I think, no, I will just drop it there to basically bait out something. He goes with a minion horde. Interesting. I will just drop my princess there. He zaps the, um, the Skarmy there. As you can see. I mean I'm not baiting out his lock. I'm baiting out his zap right now. He actually also has a lock. I hope. Well it didn't hit the princess. Otherwise he would get so much value. But so far we're still doing good amount of chip damage. He isn't really coming through. I mean we can defend his pushes pretty well. I expect the Hawk Rider soon. So I have my Inferno Tower ready. He actually goes with a Miner. And then a the, uh, Hawk Rider. But we have the... The Skarmy and the, um, the Skarmy and the Inferno Tower ready. He ha also has a mini P.E.K.K.A. And guys, uh, it's also important because no, now I know that he has lock and cycle. So I'll try to trick him by dropping the Goblin Barrel up there. It looks like it's going on the tower, but it's actually not. And there you go. He, he sort of fell for it. I mean, uh, we still get, uh, we still didn't get a damage in, but um, he, he still missed one Goblin. But that's just a small trick if you know that they have the, the spell in the cycle which you're baiting out. And now I know that he doesn't have it in the cycle. He, oh, he actually did have it in the cycle. Interesting. Wow, I misclicked my princess. I thought that the mini P.E.K.K.A. would die. But it's still in Rocket Rage. 8 seconds left. I think we, yeah, we can just rocket it uh, away now. 2 seconds left and that's uh, another game. So guys, that means we are at, uh, at 11 wins and 2 losses. I really hope we can clutch it. Uh, let's, let's go right away for the, um, the last battle. It's... Um, it's in or out now, either 11 wins or to, uh, or 12 wins. But we will see who we match. We're searching for our opponent now. And I hope it won't take long. But let's go. Yeah, we actually match right away. Spanish takers too. Uh, I can't pronounce his name, but let's definitely give him a thumbs up and a good luck, of course. And I hope we can get some um, a good match in. So soon I will drop my princess in the back just to see how he reacts to it. And maybe he pushes, maybe he... Uh, if he locks, I will go with a knight. And he actually locks. I will go with a knight to tank and a goblin barrel. And see how he reacts to this. I hope it will deal a lot of damage. He actually has a bowler. That's interesting. Um, now I know that he has a bowler. I will definitely save my knight to tank for it. And I hope he doesn't back it or uh, put a giant in front. It looks like he isn't. But I definitely, uh, I'm definitely forced to drop my skeleton army on top of his bowler. And wow, we're lagging a bit, but it's okay. The bowler got two hits in. That's actually quite a lot. I, I wish uh, I wish we didn't lag there, but it's okay, guys. And I will drop my princess now. He actually goes with a giant. Let's drop an uh, inferno tower here. I don't want him to get lightning value. Maybe he can still lightning uh, all of it, but no, he actually can't. That, that's what I was talking about. Um, the giant will get some good damage in, but soon we can counter push. He spent a lot on that push. And I don't think, I mean, maybe he has a bowler again, but we will see that soon. Let's see, Does he actually has arrows as well. So he has lock, lightning, and arrows, and a bowler. That will be a hard matchup. And he wasted. He actually, he tried to, um, wow, the knight is doing so much damage, guys. Uh, he's giving an angry face. I understand that be uh, because he tried to put his tombstone um, to tank for the knight or to counter the knight. But he was too late. And we can lock his tombstone and the tower now to get some damage in. And I think we should be able to defend his pushes. We will just uh, drop our Inferno over here. So it won't get lightning. I mean, if it get lightning. Uh, if he will li uh, use his lightning on the Inferno Tower. He will... Um, it it's impossible to hit the tower as well. And I know that he has lock in cycle. So let's try to trick this guy. 
Uh, let's see, maybe he falls for it. He actually doesn't. He um, Wow, he's taking the damage, actually. Not sure if he didn't have enough elixir or he was just um, out of cycle. I don't know. But as you can see, I don't think he can lightning the tower. No, he missed the lightning. He's just lightning in the tower to get damage in, I think. Uh, he's giving an angry face. He's making a lot of mistakes in this game. And now he definitely has lock in the cycle. So let's go with a goblin barrel. I hope he can. Oh, he actually uses it there. He does have arrows, but let's go. Let's go aggressive now, guys. With um, a Skarmie and Darth Goblin. He does have Bowler. Looks like the Bowler will go down. Um, his arches are killing my princess. But we can just look. The tower is definitely in rocket range. A rocket does uh, 493 damage as you guys can see there. Um, he's going with a giant. I'll just put it in a spot that he can't lightning. I will uh, go with a Skarmie. The giant will definitely go down guys. There you go. He couldn't lightning. Um... Let's just drop the rocket and that's uh, 12 wins guys. We clutched it. I'm very happy of course. And I hope we maybe can get a legendary out of the chest. I'll do the chest opening now. Uh, this was a very successful episode. I hope we can uh, we can end it. Um, we can end it well with a cool chest. There you go. 12 wins. 2 losses. We clutched it. Uh, let's open the chest now. So 22,000 gold. Uh, 3 musketeers. Uh, 6 giants. Mega minion. Tombstone. Let's see. Ice golem. Battle Ram, I, I still have it level 1, I didn't really use it yet. Uh, Goblin Huts, uh, Executioner, 2 Executors, I can up, uh, upgrade it to level 3 now. I couldn't upgrade it yet. Um, arrows, let's see, Mortars, uh, Road Giants. I think if we get a lot of Epics now, I believe we have to... No, we got, we got rest. We definitely don't have a... Um, we definitely don't have a Legendary, but we will get... I think we will get like... 8 or uh, or 9 or something uh, epics but I hope I mean we can't get an execution anymore so I don't really know um, what I'm hoping for but let's see what it is and it's expo I'm actually um, that my expo is uh, 72 out of the 100 that epic I, I have a lot of expo cards so maybe I can have my first uh, level 7 epic uh, soon but this was the chest guys I mean it, wa it wasn't the best chest as you can see Royal Giant, Mortar, Bomb Tower and expo but it was still a very successful episode. I will show the deck one more time for y'all. Uh, this is the deck. Feel free to copy it. It's working really well. It has four lock baits. Um, it has a mini tank. But the knight is also really good against executioner. Inferno tower versus all the tanks. Rocket to either get value or to uh, finish a game. Lock you guys just know. That's a really good card. And uh, this is basically the episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did please leave a like. Uh, guys, if you're not subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.